Welcome to todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman and let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. Gold 79 Mines has issued shares for the third Jefferson Canyon anniversary payment in Nevada. The company says that it plans to issue over 632,000 common shares of the company valued at five cents a share for the incoming $25,000 installment that was agreed upon with Thorson Fortis Merchant Capital to option the land. These common shares will have a statutory hold period of four months and a day from the day that they were issued. Gold 79 Mines says that it continues to move forward towards a maiden drill program later this year, ideally in the third quarter. Elsewhere, Gold 79 Mines has also wrapped up mapping and sampling at its Sheep Trail mine in northwest Arizona, found within the company's Gold Chain project, which has its own virtual tour that can be viewed in the link below. Green River Gold has announced a new mineralized talc outcropping at its Quenelle project in British Columbia. The current drilling project has made two drilling holes, but had to pause for warmer weather to thaw the ground. In the meantime, Green River Gold explored other prospects, where the company found the talc outcropping about 600 meters from the initial drilling project. The company says that the known talc occurrences currently extend over 1.4 kilometers with the presence of nickel and chromium. Toronto's C3 Metals has discovered high-grade copper and silver at its drilling project in Jamaica. Samplings and mappings from the Arthur's Seat project have shown a nearly 7-kilometer prospective area of copper veins while C3 Metals continues to keep mapping and prospecting the area. Arthur Seed is one of four Jamaican projects that is completely owned by C3 Metals and is located nearby to its Bella's Gate property that has an ongoing 5,000 meter drill program. Chatham Rock Phosphate is on its way back to the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada's annual conference in Toronto next week. PDAC is the leading mining investment show in the world, and at past shows, Chatham Rock says the company was able to receive encouraging investor support from the North American and global markets. The company will have a booth at the PDAC Investor Exchange and will be represented by CEO Chris Castle and Executive Director Colin Randall. And finally, Greycliff Exploration has announced that its Shakespeare project in Sudbury, Ontario has shown visible gold. Greycliff says that four drill holes and various intersections contained multiple flakes of visible gold. And now Greycliff's technical team is working on sending samples from the phase four findings for assay, where results will be released once they're verified and compiled. That wraps up this week's todaystocks.com news update. This is not financial advice, but do tune in with us on our website, todaystocks.com, to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. Thanks for watching and see you next week.